What's up guys? It's Amelia. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be unboxing the January Glam Bag Plus for Ipsy. So if you guys want to see what goodies I got, then just keep watching. I am so excited. This is the first Ipsy unboxing of the year. So if you don't know how this unboxing will work, first I'm going to be unboxing all of the add-ons I purchased, which are separate from your actual Ipsy Glam Bag Plus. And then I'm going to be showing you guys the rest of what like I actually got in my Ipsy Glam Bag. And after I show you guys what I got, I'm going to be creating a look out of the box. Okay, so first, let me tell you what add-ons I got. They're so good. Okay, so the first one I got, which I'm dying to put on right now, it is from Ahava. I think that's how you pronounce it. It is the Dead Sea Water Mineral Hand Cream Sea Kissed. I don't know if it's in Sea Kissed. I don't know. I don't know. It's Sea Kissed. I have the water cream, and I am obsessed with it. It's in my purse. I cannot imagine living my life without it. There's something about that hand cream that's just better than all of my other moisturizers that I own. The consistency is just perfect. You feel that moisturizer just sinking into your skin. So when I saw they had another option, I was like, ooh, because I was running low on the other one. Ooh, this smells so good. But my hands are so dry right now. I'm trying to smell it. I still have a little bit of a cold. It smells nice. It, it feels nice. Oh my goodness. Ooh. Oh, it smells so good. It feels very luxurious. You feel moisture. That's all I'm gonna say. You feel the moisture. Really, really nice. Ooh, okay, maybe I won't have to buy the other one and I'll just like try this one out for a bit. And then I'm just gonna show these together because they're both lip products right here. So I decided to get one, let's start with this one, from Beauty For Real. I've been really wanting to try more Beauty For Real products. This is one of their tinted lip balms and I got the shade Debbie. It is so freaking beautiful so baby pink but like a little mauvey as well i'm just gonna swatch it really quick see if it brings up like a sun okay it's very very sheer that's really pretty i also got the i love jewel smith beauty ever since i got it in my ipsy i got one of their little lip gloss duos and i am obsessed with it so when i saw that they had like just a plain like slightly glittery one i was like i need it right now and this is in the shade moonbeam dream it looks so delicious very just a clean Clear gloss. I'm oh, whoa. Okay, so it almost reminds me of a, like an ultraviolet kind of shade, which typically isn't my style, but that is so freaking beautiful. Next, I decided to get this, which I already have had a full size of this. I freaking love this mascara, which is why I decided to pick up the on sale one that's like the mini size. This is from Brooklyn and Bailey. I actually did a whole video on testing out this mascara for the first time, like literally in 90 degree weather as I was like going out doing errands and stuff. This mascara is my my absolute favorite if you want true stain power like if you are someone who hates any mascara that flakes or transfers to your lower like eye area look no further i love this i was so excited to have it again because i literally used up my entire full-sized one and then the very last add-on i decided to get is from siate london as, as i saw these i was like yes i decided to pick up the shade matchmaker it seemed like a really pretty slightly darker blush than all the other ones they were offering oh my gosh <gasps> that looks so so stunning. Why am I so excited for this? Very powdery feeling. Ooh, yeah, that's illuminating. <gasps> wow. It does have a shimmer to it, but it's not crazy. It's just like very illuminating. Okay, I am so excited to try this. Totally wish I picked up the other shades. <laughs> okay, now onto what we actually got in our actual Ipsy box. Now, I did kind of get a sneak peek as I was pulling out all of my like add-ons. But yes, this month's theme is Clean Slate for Ipsy. And I really like it because it's like, this is your year, say goodbye to what no longer serves you, bad habits, feelings, all that stuff. So I thought that was really super cute. Feeling in here, I feel this. This is, oh, okay, so this is from, I think it's called Hanalee or Hanalee, and it is the lip treatment. Now, I've actually received this before in one of my previous Ipsy bags, just the Ipsy bag. I've never received the full-size version. You guys, this is amazing. If you have dry lips and you wanna wear a lipstick, Put this on before your lipstick, your lips will look like so beautiful, so plump, so smooth. Okay, so I just found my small one right here, which I didn't realize, but this one actually has a slight tint to it. This is called in the peach pink that I received before, whereas this is just the clear one. I know I said I was gonna dry on all my products later, but I'm gonna put this on now because my lips have been so dry, you guys. It's just as beautiful as I remember. It doesn't taste the best, but it, it makes your lips look so 
Mmm, so freaking beautiful. Moving on. Okay, I feel this. It's from Flesh Cosmetics. I'm trying to remember. I think I feel like I've seen their brand before. Anyway, this is the Ripe Flesh Glisten Drops. Ooh, in the shade Aura 210. Yeah, like liquid highlighting drops. You can probably put this in like your moisturizer or like your foundation to get like an all-over glow going on. Ooh. Oh, that's so pretty. I usually really like highlighter drops. Oh, it feels so cold, by the way. Oh my gosh, it's like freezing. I'm just gonna like swish it around here to see what we're working with. Okay, so yeah, that is a pretty intense highlight. Like very, very intense highlight. Ooh. You know, I normally am into super intense highlights, but I feel like lately I've been into the more subtle ones. So I'm very curious to see how I'm going to like this flesh one. Okay, we've got another tube. Ooh, okay, so this is from Perlis. This is their Blue Lotus 4-in-1 Eye Adore Serum. Now, for me, products from Perlis are usually a hit or miss, but I've never tried an eye serum from them. You know what? Let's put this on right now. Ooh, that feels really nice. Ooh, nice and refreshing. Wait, I like this. <gasps> Ooh, wait, what is this actually supposed to do? <laughs> it's supposed to be anti-inflammatory, uh, hydrate and brighten the eye area. It's supposed to help prevent lines and wrinkles and decreases dark circles, puffiness, and tones the eye area. It feels really, really nice. It almost feels silky. And I don't know if that's just because I have like that hand cream on, like my hands feel super nice and silky right now. I actually might try this. Like, actually, it says it's for sensitive skin, which is really nice, too. I feel a palette. Yes. Oh, yes. Okay. Yes. This is a palette, an eyeshadow palette in particular. Ooh, it's from Wander Beauty. Now, I do have other Wander Beauty palettes, and I don't really use them because I felt like the last one I got, it was pretty, but, like, it was so shimmery. So, I'm curious if this is going to be just as shimmery, but this is the Wanderess palette in the shade Rush. Oh my gosh, this is one of those packets that's really hard to open without like ripping it. Okay, there we go. Ooh, just like looking on the back, I am seeing like two matte shades, but the rest look like shimmer, but I feel like these colors in particular are a lot more wearable or like colors that I would wear more than the other eyeshadow palette I got. I love their packaging. Like this is so cute. Oh my goodness. I, I'm like really excited for this palette. I'm especially excited for this blitz shade because it has like some gold in it. This will be fun to play around with today. And then I, there should be one more product. I'm not feeling it. Oh wait, no, it's like in the corner. Ooh, I really like Sugar Beauty. So this is from Sugar Beauty. It looks like it's a eye pencil. Wingman waterproof micro liner in number one, I'll be black. Ha ha ha. That was satisfying. Is this gonna be like an actual pencil or like a felt tip? Like what is this? Ooh, it is a felt tip. Wait, that's like pigmented. Ooh, I like this. This reminds me of the Clinique Pretty Easy Liquid Eyelining Pen and that's my only eyeliner I ever used. And then the last thing we have in the box is this bag. Oh my gosh, it matches my outfit. Like how cute, I did not plan that. <laughs> so I do actually really like the texture of the bag. It's like, a, it's a very just easy washable material, which is really nice for makeup bags. And then, oh my gosh, it has like a long strap. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. Like this, it's literally my aesthetic right now. Okay, now let's get on to the actual makeup. So first I'm gonna go in with some concealer before we do anything, and then we're gonna start straight with the eyeshadow palette. Okay, so now we got a beautiful eye base. I'm gonna just, I'm gonna dive in. I'm, first, let me just swatch them. These feels, oh, okay, the first one felt buttery. The second one, not as much. I got the first ones right here. We got Charge, Blitz, and OTW, which I'm assuming is on the way. Oh my gosh, yes. Well, ooh. That hand has such an interesting texture to it, but it looks gorgeous. And we have our matte shade right here, which is very subtle. Okay, then we have these three stages. We have Hustle, Avenue, and Swift right here. I'm assuming this gold's gonna be gorgeous. Oh, so stunning. I love their shimmers. Ooh, okay, that's, that's actually really pretty. And the last, ooh, yes, pigment. There we go. That is the whole vibe of the palette. It's very, very beautiful. I think I'm gonna start and go in with the shade on the way or otw right here and kind of use this as like my crease shade we're just gonna build it up it's very very subtle you can barely see it on me but i feel like it's a, it's a little buildable we're getting a little bit of pigment i don't even know what color or look i feel like i should go with what i'm wearing so i really think i'm gonna dip into this blitz shade right here this has the most interesting texture it almost feels rough 
I don't know if I like how this is applying. I don't think I like the texture. It's not like blending nicely. We're gonna dip into the Hustle. It's a lot creamier. Hoping we can save the look. Oh, yes, Hustle for the win. Then we're gonna go into this Swift shade right here to really define our eyes. Yeah, uh, this isn't my favorite color either. I don't know, I'm, I'm not really digging this palette. I'm gonna dip into the shade Charge and focus this on the inner corner, which this shade is just stunning. I love this shade. This is definitely would not be like a palette I would gravitate towards, which is really sad because I thought I would really like it. Let's try this micro liner right here from Sugar. See if we can save the entire look. This, honestly, this lid's really hard to get off. I don't know if my hands are just, oh, yep, see. I figured I'd get a mark if I tried to open it like that, but it's kind of hard to open, not gonna lie. I feel like I have a lot of control over this liner, like a lot of control, but I will say it's kind of hard to create a thick line with this. Okay, so that took way longer than it should have with this liner. So as I was like trying to like put on this eye, this eye turned out really nicely, but like after I did this little wing, like it just stopped working and I've been trying to like shake it and just like a bunch of things to get it to get to the pigment and it's just it's like the pigment just like stopped like put it on my hand and it, it kind of is there but it's not really so i don't know if it's the eyeshadow that kind of you know got it all like messy and now it won't like i don't know hopefully these glow drops do some good because so far i haven't loved any of the other makeup products that i got in my ipsy all right i'm just gonna put on some foundation and then we will continue okay so before i set my face with powder i'm gonna go in with the drops, the glisten drops. We're just gonna take my finger and try it. Let's dot this out. That definitely is a lot less intense than what I thought it was when we like spread it out on the hand. It, ooh, it's like subtle, but like it's it's like an inner glow. <gasps> Wait, I love that. I'm gonna try to build it up a little bit because I love the subtlety of it, but I also want like, you know, a little pop like that with some under my brows. A lot of times liquid highlights do break me out, not gonna lie, like I just get little clogged pores. So I'm curious if this is gonna do the same. So check the description below. I will update you to see if I got any kind of breakout or negative reaction from these. Okay, now I'm just gonna finish off the bottom of my eyes really quick with this palette. Not gonna lie, I'm really sad about this palette. Like I thought it would be so good. See, I really do like the matte shades in here. I feel like on their own, they're really pretty. And I do like these, it's just, just these two. I'm not I'm not a fan. Since we're at it, I'm just gonna put on some lovely Brooklyn and Bailey mascara. I'm really excited to have this in my life again. Like genuinely so excited. Plus, you guys, like I am all for like lash primers to really help it mascara stick, but with this, you do not need a, a lash primer. Also, this formula does not get clumpy. It just creates super nice, wispy, long lashes. Okay, so this is just with one coat and it's so freaking pretty. Here, I'm gonna dip it in one more time and put on just a second coat because you can build this up and create just a really beautiful volumized look with it. And then let's try this blush since we're here, you know? Ah, it just looks so beautiful. Oh my gosh, it's so baby pink, but I love it. That's so pretty. Ah, and it's buildable. It is, I will say, pretty shimmery. So my texture is peeking through a little bit with it, like looking up close, but it is so beautiful, like such a beautiful color. I still think I will utilize this blush. Okay, and then I'm gonna also put on my Jules Beauty Moonbeam Dream. I'm so excited for this. <gasps> It smells so good. It's like so nice and fruity and delicious. Wow. It's definitely like an ultraviolet kind of vibe going on, but it looks good. Like it makes my lips look so freaking juicy. All right, let me put on some brows. Let me put a little bit of contour on and then I'll be right back and kind of like sum up all of my thoughts on this bag. All right, you guys. So this is the finished look we have going on right here from everything that I got in my Ipsy, including a couple of my add-ons. So let's gather my thoughts. First of all, I'm gonna say, so far, the only add-on I haven't tried is this one, but other than that, I'm literally obsessed with all of the add-ons I got. They're all amazing, definitely recommend. Now, when it comes to my actual Ipsy bag, the eyeshadow palette was, it was all right. Is it an eyeshadow palette I'm gonna think to go to every single day? No. These flush drops are super, super nice. They're a lot more subtle than what I thought they were gonna be, and I, I really like that. As I said, I've been more into the subtle highlights recently. As for the eyeliner, something I 
probably wouldn't buy after trying it out for the first time. It just didn't hold up. The Hanalee Hanal Lip Treatment Oh, I'm obsessed with my lips. Feels so friggin' good right now. I cannot wait to start using this more often. And so far, I really, really liked this I Adore Serum from Perlise. So I'm gonna continue trying this out for a little bit. Maybe during the day I'll put it on and see what happens. I don't know. I feel like, well, obviously I have concealer on right now, but it just felt really, really nice to put on my eyes. So overall, I guess I liked three out of all five items from my Ipsy Glam Bag Plus. So it wasn't a terrible bag, but it definitely wasn't my best bag ever. So I really hope over the next couple months, the bag will improve, especially if I leave more detailed reviews. So that is everything that I got in my Ipsy. Those are my final thoughts on everything that I got. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give this video a big thumbs up it really really does help support my channel and question of the day what did you guys get in your ipsy bags i really want to know down in the comments below is there a product that you got that i didn't get that you're like obsessed with let me know also if you're new to my channel hi i'm amelia <laughs> if you guys want to see more beauty tutorials and reviews and just fun videos like this please subscribe to my channel by hitting the red subscribe button that is right down below and be sure to hit the little notification bell that is right next to the subscribe button this way you guys will get notified every tuesday and friday when i upload a brand new video i hope you guys have a beautiful gorgeous rest of your day and i will see you next time